हेलो एवरीवन टुडे द टॉपिक इज पी डी एच मल्टी एंजाइम कॉम्प्लेक्स अदरवाइज कॉल्ड एज पाइरवेट डिहाइड्रोजनेज मल्टी एंजाइम कॉम्प्लेक्स सो इन दिस वीडियो वील बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द स्टेप्स दैट आर इन्वॉल्व इन दिस रिएक्शन एज वेल एज द रेगुलेशन ऑफ द रिएक्शन टू डिफाइन इट इज एन एंजाइम कॉम्प्लेक्स दैट कैटेलाइज द कन्वर्शन ऑफ पाइरवेट टू एसिटाइल कोए Now, what exactly is the source of pyruvate? Where does this pyruvate come from? Pyruvate is the end product of glycolysis. So, glucose undergoes breakdown to form pyruvate. From one glucose, there formation of two molecules of pyruvate. Now, this pyruvate is converted to acetyl CoA in the presence of this re, uh, enzyme called as PDH multi enzyme complex. The process of conversion of glucose to pyruvate occurs in the cytoplasm, whereas the process of conversion of pyruvate to acetyl CoA occurs in the mitochondria. So, how exactly is this pyruvate transported from cytoplasm to mitochondria? So, pyruvate that is formed inside the cytoplasm is transported to mitochondria with the help of a protein, which is called as Tri pyruvate transporter so it is a transport protein which helps in the transport of pyruvate from cytoplasm to the mitochondria now once it has reached mitochondria what happens inside the mitochondria so inside the mitochondria the pyruvate undergoes an oxidative decarboxylation reaction to form acetyl coa oxidative decarboxylation reaction to form acetyl coa so this three carbon compound is converted to a two carbon compound with the removal of the carbon dioxide and this occurs in the presence of this enzyme called as pyruvate dehydrogenase multi enzyme complex now what are the components of this pdh multi enzyme complex this pdh multi enzyme complex is made of three enzymes as the name suggests it is a multi enzyme complex so it is made of three enzymes and five coenzymes so the three enzymes are pyruvate decarboxylase dihydrolipoyl transacetylase dihydrolipoyl dehydrogenase these are the three enzymes whereas the coenzymes are thymine pyrophosphate lipomide coenzyme a fad and nad plus so what are the steps in the pdh reaction so totally it is a three step reaction catalyzed by three main enzymes that is pyruvate dehydrogenase dihydrolipoyl transacetylase and dihydrolipoyl dehydrogenase so in the first step the pyruvate dehydrogenase uh, catalyzes the decarboxylation of pyruvate so in this particular step the coenzyme thymine pyrophosphate is converted to hydroxy ethyl thymine pyrophosphate now in the second step uh, is catalyzed by the enzyme dihydrolipoyl transacetylase in this uh, step the dihydrolipoyl transacetylase it converts hydroxy ethyl tpp in the presence of the uh, oxidized lipomide in the presence of this oxidized lipomide hydroxy ethyl tpp is converted to acetyl uh, lipomide and tpp is regenerated now acetyl group from this acetyl lipomide is transferred to coenzyme a to form acetyl coenzyme a acetyl coa this is how the acetyl coa is formed in this reaction now again after the transfer of acetyl group from acetyl lipomide to coenzyme a this lipomide again come back comes back to its reduced state now the enzyme dihydrolipoyl dehydrogenase in the step 3 it catalyzes the oxidation of this lipomide uh, uh, oxidation of this lipomide and during this oxidation the reducing equivalents are transferred from fad to fadh2 and from fadh2 they are transferred to nad to form nadh2 and finally this nadh2 enters electron transport chain to form 2.5 atp so for one molecule of pyruvate that enters the pdh reaction there is generation of 2.5 atp and for one glucose molecule because for one glucose molecule we get two molecules of pyruvate there will be a total generation of 5 atp for one pdh reaction 
Now, what is the significance of this PDH reaction? The significance is it is a completely irreversible process. That is, pyruvate, once it is converted to acetyl-CoA, acetyl-CoA cannot be again converted to pyruvate. This process does not occur. Only the conversion of pyruvate to acetyl-CoA is uh, possible whereas the conversion of acetyl CoA to pyruvate is not possible. Now this acetyl CoA can be utilized for many purposes. It can be used for fatty acid synthesis and it can also be used for citric acid cycle and and this is also a committed step towards oxidation of glucose. For final oxidation of glucose uh, occurs only if the pyruvate enters the citric acid cycle. So this is a committed step towards oxidation of glucose. And as this reaction is irreversible, there is no net synthesis of glucose from fat. Now, How is this PDH regulated? This PDH reaction is regulated through covalent modification of the enzyme covalent modification of the enzyme that is this pdh complex mainly exists in two states that is active state and in inactive state inactive state is the is when a phosphate group is added to this pdh complex it becomes inactive and that is particular and it becomes active when a phosphate group is removed from this particular enzyme. And addition of phosphate is catalyzed by the enzyme kinase. Whereas removal of the phosphate is catalyzed by the enzyme phosphatase. So phosphorylation and dephosphorylation is what that uh, regulates this particular reaction. So the components that regulate this PDH complex are Firstly, pyruvate, NAD and coenzyme A, they particularly inhibit this enzyme kinase. So, when this kinase is inhibited, phosphate group is not added. So, when this phosphate group is not added, this PDH complex is present in a dephosphorylated state. And when this is present in a dephosphorylated state, that means that it's, this enzyme is active and pyruvate will be converted to acetyl-CoA. Next is acetyl-CoA, NADH and ATP. So when they are present in high amount in the cell, they will stimulate this enzyme PDH kinase. When PDH kinase is stimulated, it will add more and more phosphate groups to this particular PDH complex and phosphor uh, phosphorylation of this particular enzyme makes it inactive and as a result this particular reaction will be stopped. And when there is sudden demand of energy in the cell, which is particularly mediated by calcium. So this ion calcium and also magnesium will activate phosphatase. Now phosphatase will catalyze the removal of the phosphate from this particular enzyme. And when this phosphate group is removed, it becomes dephosphorylated. And when this becomes dephosphorylated, it becomes active. And there will be conversion of pyruvate to acetyl-CoA. And as a result, acetyl-CoA will enter citric acid cycle. And there the sudden demand of energy will be met in the cell. So this is how the PDH complex is regulated by covalent modification of the enzyme pyruvate dehydrogenase by existing in phosphorylation as well as in dephosphorylated state. Thank you.